He was on the front line of Korea. A Jeep pulled up. They got out and put him in the Jeep and he thought he was going home. <laughs> and they took him down to Pamajan where the peace talks were going on, pinned a medal on him, put him back in the Jeep and took him back up on the front line. <laughs> His best friend had pulled a couple drawings out of his closet and entered them in this art show, and which he won. He never knew till he got home what painting had won <laughs> the art contest. <laughs> so when he got back to school, all his friends had graduated because they finished up the two years, so he had to start in with a new group of kids. So one night, all the UC invited all the student nurses over to UC to a dance. He saw a girl all dressed in white, and he started to go over to ask her to dance, and he saw somebody motion her, and she went off. Meanwhile, he falls over a coffee table, and he looks up, and I'm sitting there, and he goes, would you like to dance? <laughs> so that's how we met. <laughs> so after he graduated from UC, he stayed here, and they got, gave him some teaching responsibilities. He taught design at UC for about 20 years. He had teachers that took him under their wing. When he was about 10, his teacher <clears throat> came back and found out he was doodling on his papers. He tried to cover it up and so then she decided on the ultimate punishment was to stay after school and do the whole Thanksgiving story on the blackboard while she graded papers. Well, for Richard, that was the ultimate punishment. When she punished him, she really got him started because she let him stand in front of the class and explain his drawing, and so he really got into it. And everything he has sold, he put in a letter. This is dated April of 1985, he wrote this letter. It says, thank you, Mrs. Wingenroth. One day in school when I was 10, my loving but stern English teacher Miss Emily Wengenroth asked me what I was hiding under my notebook. She had an eagle eye and had spotted me, as in the past. I was doodling and daydreaming. This time it was airplanes. Previously, we had cars, trucks, tractors, bugs, girls, and teachers' facials, etc. On this particular occasion, she spared the rule and came up with a dilly. My punishment would be a 12-foot long mural of the Thanksgiving story in color, ugh. She stayed after school grading papers and watched my progress with a twinkle in her eyes. When it was completed, she praised my work in front of the class and talked about the fact that composition in English, art, and music are closely related. Her sensitivity nurtured a love to draw. As you can see, my drawings are like notations. The images attempt to record places and events that are personally meaningful. If you are interested in images of your own, please inquire and enjoy the work of others here, yours in Christ. Richard Peacock.